it's a lovely Thursday. Yes. Uh, what's the comment look like, Munda? <laughs> we met on Thursday. It's, it's a Thursday. Yeah, it's a Thursday. Yeah. Hi, Hi guys. How are you doing? She looks like she's about to break into I song. missed you guys yesterday. Yeah. Oh. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't be here to celebrate with you all. But I was like celebrating, Happy celebrating in spirit. Happy, Happy anniversary to you all. Yeah. It's been, I mean, we bantered a bit yes, yeah. last night yeah. about the Indeed. anniversary and how much we've evolved and grown on the show. Yep. And uh, it's amazing that seven years together, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful journey. A lot and, to be grateful for. Um, a lot to be grateful mm -hmm. for. Yeah. And a lot and to count. A, yes. lot to a lot of blessings yeah, a lot to of count. Blessings. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of blessings, actually. Yes. Mine are monetary, think, but blessings are all the same. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, uh, to, uh, well, one of those blessings, I'll count it as a blessing, which is um, it's a, today makes it six years, um, uh, six year remembrance, mm -hmm. you know, since the ordeal with my mom. And um, I still remember that night getting that phone call you know, that the boat she was in had capsized. And I still think about it every single day. Um, it's hard when she's even talking about it now. But uh, wherever you are, Mom, remember that we love you and we miss you and um, you're forever in our hearts. Mm. And just, the, just as you were a blessing while you were here with us, wherever you are, I pray that, you know, God will use other people to be blessings to you you know, um, yeah. Okay. So I, happy anniversary. I've happy, well, it's the sixth year anniversary. I don't know if you say happy, but yeah, I still count it as all of my blessings either way. So, yeah. Honestly, I, I saw still, rest in peace. Yes, may her soul rest in perfect peace. It, it's not easy losing a loved one. Just yesterday, I was mentioning the fact that it's been four years since um, Yajobo died. Yeah. That was yesterday. Four years. So when you talk about, you know, losing people, it's one of the toughest things ever. It is. But mm. then, in classic segue form, mm. one of the things you can lose in this life is a partner, mm. especially when it comes to raising children. children. Mm. Some women are single mothers by choice, while some people, they're circumstantial single mothers. Yeah. Circumstantial say you got a divorce yeah. or the, the husband died, like the father of the child died, mm. you know, that kind of thing. So circumstantial is one thing, but then when you choose to, there was actually a post by a lady, a vlogger, who said, listen, <laughs> ladies should do whatever they can not to get pregnant outside wedlock. Because when you think you are suffering now, <laughs> when you're left to take care of the child all by, all yourself, by yourself, you will see suffering pro max. According to the lady, that's what she was saying. That mm -hmm. Your suffering has not even started yet until you are left to care for a child all by yourself. Mm -hmm. And so it made me wonder, what, what are your thoughts on this? Because mm -hmm. I saw the comment section, so many <clears throat> single moms like praising her for coming out to actually speak their truth. Mm -hmm. That uh, People, you know, glamorize this mm -hmm. single mother thing. But the reality is, it is not easy at all. But well, what are your thoughts? I, I actually w was going to come from the, the child's angle, the children's mm -hmm. angle, and what they've spoken about mm -hmm. their single moms. Mm -hmm. um, and this is because there, it's not just about the woman and the man mm -hmm. or, or a lack of a man. Mm -hmm. um, the child's perspective is also very important mm -hmm. and what that child witnesses. Mm -hmm. So this child is going to witness this woman's struggle and assume that the whole of their life is going to be a struggle. similar, a struggle. Mm. Uh, they've watched this woman hustle, so they assume that their whole life is going to be a hustle. They so, also carry along her trauma. Exactly. Mm. Trauma um, and um, stigma. Stigma. That's the yeah. word I'm looking for. Stigma as well. Stigma? And is this still being stigmatized? For some, uh, for some, 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 some yeah. society. Depending, depending on where you are. Yeah, depending yeah, on where you exactly. are. Exactly. Um, so even, even to the way the women... So if you, uh, if you, if you see a, a wife mm. dressed glamorously, mm. coming to take her child from school, right? Mm -hmm. You greet the person as, oh, a glamorous wife. Mm. But if a single mom comes to the school and looks like really glamorously dressed, mm. they're like... Some sugar daddy somewhere is enabling her life. Oh, well. It's, it's just really it's sad, it's but sad. that's actually true. Mm -hmm. It's a sad assumption. And the, the children are actually said. witnessing this. So if we want to come from the angle of, um, you know, thoughts, yeah, mindset for this, I just always want to think about how the children are feeling. Mm -hmm. So if there is any way to prevent single motherhood, 
Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, the first step is making sure that it's not happening outside wedlock, um, that as in pregnancy is not happening outside wedlock. And then, of course, if it's circumstantial, as you said before, if this woman decides to find a new partner, ah, having a, a male figure in a child's life is also a very important of that child, uh, important aspect of that child's upbringing and yeah, growth. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm going to come in here. Um, <laughs> they, say, they say not all superheroes wear capes. Mm, true. I would say, well, this is likened to a lot of single women out yeah. there because yeah. they are carrying the responsibility of being a father and a mother and yeah. they're playing both roles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not all of these women know how to play them excellently, both roles excellently well. Yeah. Because even as mothers, it's hard sometimes me meeting every need of your child, physically, yeah. emotionally, mentally, psychologically, mm -hmm. and uh, playing every role. So talk less of playing two roles. That's doubling both roles and all the responsibilities and all involved. the roles that are involved yeah. in this. So, yeah, kudos to all the single mothers out there. Yeah. For some, it is not a choice. Mm -hmm. For some, it is a choice. Mm. We are in that, in that space now or in that era where a lot of women, a lot of single women want to own children independent. They want to raise their own children instead of maybe based, of, based on, you know, some heartbreak mm. they've experienced in the past and they decide that you know what i don't want to get married this is the way of this is what i want to do i want to be a single mother i want to raise a child independently i want to you know um be without a man that is also a choice and i think that is okay there's absolutely nothing wrong with it but you also have to try to ensure that this child is blessed of course. with everything that the child needs is empowered with everything that the child needs mm -hmm. to grow Mm -hmm. to, to be fully developed, mm -hmm. you know, to be the best that they can be, to reach their full potential. Mm -hmm. Because you also need to also help to build their mental resilience because mm -hmm. they're going to, you know, go through so much out there. Mm -hmm. The things that they see when the father, and the, especially during, okay, today's my child's graduation. Mm -hmm. So imagine a single mother yeah. who chose to raise this child by herself, yeah. you know, who's there, who's, you know, and the child seeing other other children, with you, you know, with both that. parents and how they feel. Mm -hmm. So you also need to ensure that, that you've built them to the point where it doesn't affect them. It's, it's going to be hard, mm -hmm. but you have to try because you made that choice. I've, I've always believed that, be it circumstantial or by choice, single motherhood is not easy. Yeah. You, 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 it's not easy to decide to raise children. Even for a couple, it's hard enough. It's hard. It's actually difficult for married couples. Talk less mm -hmm. of when you have to raise the child all by yourself. Just as she said, you are heroes without capes, and that's the truth. It's not easy at all. Now, this is to every young lady watching us now and is considering making that choice. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you cannot take care of the child, like you cannot project the next 10 to 20 years yeah. thinking you can, you're, you're capable, say, for example, you have the right education or you have the job that can aid it, you have the correct support system because one of the things single mothers lack is support, support system. system. I was coming there. Because Mary. of the, the, this, um, mm -hmm. just as we mentioned, the stigmatization, uh, you, are, you are not supposed to have gotten pregnant, so you are abandoned to your weight and all. See, if you know you don't have that, mm. don't make that choice. Mm. And I'm very serious about it. It is never easy for a single mom. It's never.